All right, hello, welcome to our first ever virtual Calix Schenecker Art Infinitum Award Ceremony. My name is Amanda Poth. I'm the Gallery Director of Gallery 221 at HCC Dale Mabry campus. We're thrilled to have you all with us virtually to celebrate the work of these incredibly talented high school students. Um, so a few quick notes about our Zoom meeting. Um, as you may have noticed with the blinking red dot in the upper left, we are recording this event and we're going to work to make this available online later on for those who maybe weren't able to attend or for those who might simply just want to rewatch the celebrations. So please email gallery221 at hccfl.edu if you would like to be notified when this is available. For clarity, as some of you have already been discussing, Everyone ex except the speakers are going to be muted for the entirety of the event. However, if you want to share your enthusiasm, um, some of you have been doing this already, uh, maybe a shout out for a school or a teacher or a student, please feel free to make use of the comments section. And we welcome your participation. We would love to see you all say hello and cheer on our award winners as they're announced um, by following along in the comments. Also, as we share our images and announcement, Zoom automatically creates the sidebar on the right with attendee videos. If this disrupts your ability to see some of the presentation content, you can simply minimize the sidebar or change the way it appears by uh, selecting the icon on the top left and change to one speaker's video or no video. So all 130 artworks that are included in the show are currently available as an online exhibition in the gallery's website as a Flickr album. We'll add a direct link in the comment section for you all so it's really easy to find. So tonight's event is going to start with thanks and welcome led by myself and also Dustin Lemke, that's our Dean of Associate of Arts at the HCC Del Mabry campus. We're gonna have a short presentation from Parker Schenecker on behalf of the Calix Imbo Memorial Fund. Um, this is the sponsor for our scholarships. Um, and then we're going to have the awards presentation itself announced by myself and our Assistant Dean of Associate in Arts, Amy Bousquet. And then closing remarks will be made from Lee Lowry, our Director of Development at the HCC Foundation. Okay, so this show always holds a special place in our hearts at HCC and we're especially excited that we were, be able, we were able to continue to host this exhibition, albeit in a virtual form, as we celebrate 20 years of championing student artists. One of the features every year since receiving sponsorship from the Calix Imbo Memorial Fund is the tribute area honoring the memory of Calix Schenecker, whose name is in the title of our show. We wanted to begin this presentation with a moment to remember Calix, whose legacy reminds us about arts power to inspire hope and change, and how important it is to support the creative endeavors of our youth, especially in such uncertain times. Okay, so now I'm going to extend my appreciation to the organizations who support and makes this exhibition possible. Um, of course, there's the Calix Imbo Memorial Fund, but also our HCC Dale Mabry Campus Student Government Association, the Hillsborough Community College Foundation, the Tampa Museum of Art, Tempest Projects, Battle Studios, and Hooked on a Cure Tampa Bay. Thanks to all of our sponsors for making this exhibition, scholarships, gifts, and programming possible. Um, we were excited this year to unveil uh, with support of our scholarship sponsor um, the incorporation of the creativity of our HCC students in support of this exhibition with a new logo. So the winning design, as you see here, was created by Lan Nguyen. Congratulations, Lan, and thank you for a beautiful design that will be used for this annual show for years to come. My gratitude also to HCC faculty, Chris Weeks and, Weeks and Jay Giroux for encouraging their students to participate in the competition. So if you're here, thank you so much. Uh, 
Um, I just have a couple more quick thanks, I promise, um, before I turn this over to our next speaker. First, I want to express my sincere gratitude to Dr. Alan Witt, that's our HCC Dale Mabry campus president, and also Dustin Lemke, Dean of Associate in Arts. They are tireless supporters and advocates for the arts at our school and in our community, so my sincere thanks to them. I also want to give a shout out to my Gallery 221 team who's worked really tirelessly on this exhibition to transition it to an online format for the first time. Um, Emilio Zedekasi and Ashley Williams are behind the scenes working on making all these transitions really nice between different slides and answering all of your comments. Um, I also want to thank our student workers, Mark Miller and Seja Fernandez, who are helping us with the processing of the works as we had received them at the school before this whole pandemic started. Okay, now I'd like to turn this over to our Dean of the Associate in Arts, Dustin Lemke. Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well today. Um, we welcome you to HCC. We welcome you to our gallery. Um, thank you for joining us. We do really appreciate you taking time out of your uh, schedule to be here with us. Um, one word has really been on my mind lately. It's the word essential, I think, because we're suddenly thinking about essential businesses and essential workers. And then immediately I started to turn that word on myself and wonder, you know, am I essential? Um, what's essential in my life, which of my friends are essential. Uh, and I, I just, it's become this deep kind of resonating thing. I won't go into a lot, but I'll say that one of the things that has been very essential to me the last month and a half is art. Um, whether it's been, uh, you know, amazing performances that um, musicians are doing on Instagram, whether it's been um, fun experiments that people are doing with like the Getty Museum painting challenge where they're recreating um, famous paintings at home with toilet paper and face mask or whatever. And it, it, it's just, it's come to, it's been clear to me that as my schedule has cleared and I'm slowed down in some respects, that art is one of those really important things. So I'm sure that the artists that are with us tonight didn't think that when they were creating this artwork, that it would kind of hit us in an important time of our lives, that we would be looking at your work um, as we're trying to make sense of the world that's going on around us. I actually, I had a very lucky chance to see the art show almost up on the wall. Uh, when I saw it, it was laid out on the floor, ready to be put up on the wall, but nobody was there. We had already closed down our buildings and we knew we weren't coming back. So I got this kind of glimpse of your work, um, just ready to be put up. And so it's very exciting to me to see what we've done on Facebook to continue that work and to get it out there. And I just really appreciate that uh, your works have touched me in ways that you might not have ever realized when you first started creating them. So we do want to thank um, both students and their families who've um, taken the time to create everything and to support each other and to join us tonight. Uh, I want to thank, of course, all the amazing teachers and the art teachers who have inspired your students, which then in turn inspires all of us. Um, and I'd like to thank the judges that have been helping us. So first is Brittany Bevel, who is the education curator at the Tampa Museum of Art. Uh, Omar Richardson, who is a, an artist and also an adjunct professor here at HCC. Selena Roman, also an artist and an adjunct professor here at HCC. Gary Schmidt, an artist and a printer fabricator at the USF Graphics Studio. Uh, Noel Smith, the deputy director and curator of Latin American and Caribbean art at the USF Contemporary Art Museum. And Janelle Young, the artist and an app and artist and adjunct professor at the University of Tampa. We really appreciate uh, the time that both our artists put into everything, but also the time that our judges uh, put into everything of, uh, so that we could have an award show tonight and work through everything for that. Um, up next is Parker Schenecker, and he's got some things to share with uh, and some things to say also. Parker. Great, thanks Dustin, uh, along with my wife Kelly, uh, from our home here in South Tampa. You know, I, I love this event. 
Um, it is probably the highlight of our year. Um, there's so much love and so much great feeling about this and so much emotion. Uh, the one thing that I don't like about it is I always have the really hard job of following Dustin. It is impossible to follow Dustin. So I'll keep it light and airy because he hit all the points that are really, really important. Uh, but I'll just touch on a few things. Um, I'm going to go a little bit from a script tonight because I know we're, we're a little bit tighter on time uh, than usual where I get to pontificate a bit. So thank you all for joining us. What a cool opportunity to, to do this event virtually. Uh, tons of thanks. This is our 20th anniversary of this high school arts competition. Um, this reception is a huge success. Amanda, your team, Emiliano and Ashley, you guys have, have worked tirelessly to make this happen. It is phenomenal. Um, we've got folks from overseas. We've got folks from across all the time zones in the U.S. Uh, linked in with us tonight, and that's a pretty cool, pretty cool deal. Um, I just want us all to remember where we are on our 20th anniversary in 2020. We'll look back at this time, as Dustin mentioned, and have a lot of questions. Um, but the one, the one constant, I'll, I'll, dub, I'll double down on that, Dustin. The one constant is art. Uh, never give up on uh, on your uh, your quest for uh, for providing love and and beautiful things for the world. A lot of folks to thank HCC and Gallery Two Two One and Gallery Three and the team, uh, SGA, our judges, our partners, and especially uh, I'd like to give a, a special shout out to our 20th anniversary uh, partners and sponsors this year, both Hooked on a Cure Tampa Bay who does a, a, a wide range of nonprofit work here in the community. Uh, and when I approach them about supporting our, uh, our character development and, and scholarship programs, they were first, uh, first in line to say that they wanted to support us. As well as Battle Studios in San Francisco, I saw Agilio um, as one of, the, one of the participants tonight, the artist who, who's put together our, uh, our gifts for this year. Uh, they helped us make this celebration a special one because your generosity, both of y'all's generosity this year, each participant will get a special gift. And this is when I do my Carol Merrill, for those of you who've been around for a while, or my Vanna White. So each participant this year will receive um, a graphite object from Battle Studios in San Francisco, this lovely packaging. Um, and uh, Agilio, the artist, is, is actually with us, uh, with us this evening virtually from San Francisco. And inside the, inside the box is a lovely presentation um, with some, uh, some foam rubber. And as you open this up, you'll see a beautiful sculpture. In this case, it happens to be a curled leaf. It's a beautiful sculpture that doubles because it's graphite, it doubles as a writing instrument or an instrument for art. Yeah, I saw some faces in, the, in some of the participants like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Agilia, we can't thank you enough for your, uh, for your kindness in working overtime. Uh, Matt, Cindy, and Lindsay at Hooked on a Cure, thank you so much for your sponsorship. So every participant this year, We'll get that as a as part of your your swag for the 20th anniversary. We're pretty excited to provide those um, to the educators, parents, guardians, those of you who uh, who support your artists. As a parent of an artist, I can attest to the firsthand challenges uh, firsthand challenges of where our kids want recognition, but then they don't want recognition. The work is fabulous, but in their minds, it's not. I've seen more wadded up paper in the trash can and torn up canvases in my life than I, really, than I ever really want to. But that's all part of the process and, uh, and it's all worth it. Quick background, um, those of you who don't know, my daughter Calix was a uh, uh, sophomore at King High. My son, Bo, a 13 year old eighth grader at Liberty Middle School in 2011 when I was on a deployment to Afghanistan. Um, when they were both, uh, they were both um, killed by their shot and, and murdered by their mother. The first thing I did when I came back was I started our nonprofit efforts in full 
And the very first event that we that we established was this one, was to support this high school arts competition. So this has a near and dear place in our hearts uh, throughout the Shanneker family and throughout uh, throughout our, our extended our extended family. We're so glad that we did it. Uh, congratulations to you and thank you for honoring uh, my children in this lovely way. Uh, I hope in some small way I'll, I'll be able to repay it to you in the future. And as a last celebration of our, of our 20th anniversary, uh, the family and I have decided to drink some water. The family and I have decided uh, this year to double our endowment for our scholarship at the college. So we'll have, we'll have twice the amount of, of effort uh, next year to, uh, to recognize our, our, our wonderful artists. And so we're, we're very happy and very proud to provide that. I know my mom's on, I think my brother may be on as well. So and Kelly and I are both very, very proud to provide that. So that's enough for me. Um, as I wrap up, I'm gonna turn it over to Amy Biscay, who is the uh, Academic Assistant Dean for the Arts Programs at HCC. Uh, Amy, um, love working with you, and uh, over to you, ma'am. Hello, um, Parker, you think you have a hard act to follow, following Dustin. Well, you just made that pretty difficult for me as well. <laughs> Um, before I start, I would just like to have a special shout out to all the art high school art teachers. As a former high school English teacher myself, um, I know how important um, and how our students become like our children. And each one of you nominated these students and they're here because you saw something in their work. So a special nod to those high school art teachers. All right. Now let me tell you a little bit about the awards. All students whose work is included in the show will receive a certificate of their participation in that beautiful graphic object from Battle Studio that uh, Vanna White or Parker Schinnaker showed us, right? Um, purchased with the support of the nonprofit Hooked on a Cure. Honorable mentions in all categories will also receive a ticket to the Tampa Museum of Art and a small sketchbook. In addition to receiving a ticket to the Tampa Museum of Art and a sketchbook, the first, second, and third place winners will also receive scholarships to HCC in the amounts of $100 for third place winners, $300 for second place winners, and $500 for first place winners. And finally, the People's Choice Award winner and our newest award, a Gallery's Choice Award winner, will each receive sketchbooks and a household membership to the Tampa Museum of Art. Thanks again to all the sponsors for making these gifts and awards possible. And here we go with the awards. In the category of 2D art, an honorable mention goes to Juan Gomez for Insectophobia. Juan attends, is a senior at AP Lado High School and he was nominated by his teacher, Jackie Lucas. Another honorable mention in the 2D art category goes to Evangeline Vio for Curiosity Killed the Cat. Evangeline is a freshman at Steinbrenner High School and she was nominated by her teacher, Chris Atkinson. And we have a third 2D art honorable mention. And this one goes to Izzy Robe for Sisters Ship. Izzy is a senior at Blake High School and she was nominated by her teacher, Molly Dresel. All right, moving on. Our third place 
in the two art in the two D art category goes to Eric Schindling for Our Lady and Glory, Enola Gray. Eric is a senior at Steinbrenner High School, and he was nominated by his teacher, Chris Atkinson. In second place, we've got Jennifer Fong Lee for her work entitled Culturally Conflicted. Jennifer is a, se a senior at Cambridge Christian High School and she was nominated by her teacher, Amy Dayton. And in first place, in the 2D art category, we have Cicely Paris for her work, Kitsune. Cicely is a junior at Howard Blake High School and she was nominated by her teacher, Molly Dresel. So a big applause to all our 2D art winners. And now to introduce the 3D art winners, I turn it over to Amanda Potts. Thanks, Amy. Um, so now I'm gonna be starting with our first honorable mention in the category of 3D art. Our first award goes to Lindsay Hunt for number 13. I'll do a little applause here. Um, Lindsay is in 12th grade at Alonzo High School, nominated by their teacher, David Smith. Our second honorable mention in the category of 3D art goes to Olivia Smith for Lifesaver Cuff. Olivia is in 10th grade at Blake High School, nominated by their teacher, Emma Chandler. Our final honorable mention in 3D art goes to Tristan Kurtz for Contrast. Kristen's in 12th grade at Newsom High School and was nominated by Karen Weika. And now our third place award winner goes to Samuel Hernandez for Sam the Great. Samuel's in 11th grade at Blake High School and was nominated by Emma Chandler. Our second place award winner in 3D art goes to Giselle Olivas for Inside Out. Oh, here we go. Giselle is in 12th grade, attends Howard W. Blake High School, and was nominated by their teacher, Lenny Cabanero Harvey. Congratulations. Give it a moment on that one, congrats. Okay, finally, our first place award winner in the category of 3D art goes to Alina Grillo for Death of Marat. Alina is a 12th grader at Blake High School, nominated by Lenny Cabanero Harvey. Congratulations. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it back over to Amy for announcing the winners in the category of photography. Okay, in the category of photography, we have an honorable mention. And the first one is Jolena Jaspersen for Heading On Out. Jolena is a junior at Blake High School and she was nominated by her teacher, Linda Galandi. Our next honorable mention goes to Connor McCullig for his work, Body Study Number One. He's a senior at Howard Blake High School and he was also nominated by his teacher, Linda Galgani. 
And our final honorable mention goes to Katie Fishner for A Study of Lines. Katie is a sophomore at Plant City High School and she was nominated by her teacher, Nikki Carpenter. On to the third place winner. In third place for photography goes to Crystal Tolly for Love and Death. And, oh, I think I said that wrong. Kaistel is a junior at Howard Blake High School, and she was also nominated by her teacher, Linda Galgani. In second place, we've got Trent Walker for his work, Moment. Trent is a junior from Sickles High School, and he was nominated by his teacher, Eric Milan. And our first place award for photography goes to Chloe Elmhurst for her work, Witness. And Chloe is a senior at Alonzo High School, and she was nominated by her teacher, Shane Heath. Congratulations to all the photography winners. And now I'm going to turn it back over to Amanda, who's going to read our final awards. Okay. Thank you, Amy. Um, so the People's Choice Award this year was a little bit different than it has in the past. Um, this year we decided that award through an online poll on the gallery social media in which just like the rest of our judging, the details regarding the student, grade, or school were not included. Participants simply liked their favorite images to cast votes. Um, when we made this available online, we couldn't have anticipated the outpouring of enthusiasm and support for our exhibiting student artists. For the album and photos, we received over 2,100 votes in total, 69 comments, and 130 shares. The overall reach of the album, according to Facebook, was 5.6 thousand. So it was shared greatly and widely in the community. So thank you all so much for sharing, for liking, and commenting your support. Um, so now we're going to turn it back over to the awards presentation. It's my pleasure to share with you the winner of the People's Choice Award with nearly 130 votes. This goes to Chloe Sweet for her 2D entry October 9th. Congratulations, Chloe, who's a 10th grader from Alonso High School, submitted by Shane Heath. Okay, so for our Gallery's Choice Award, in the 20th anniversary, it seemed especially fitting that our awards have expanded with this additional award. This was made possible by anonymous donors who wanted to extend recognition to a student who was not selected for any other awards and would be chosen by the gallery team. The artwork ultimately selected, and there were still many, many very deserving artworks remaining, was ultimately Zoe Hunter for Zoe's submission, They Are Lesbians, Herald. Zoe's a senior from Steinbrenner High School. And this was submitted by their teacher, Chris Watkinson. Congratulations to all our award winners and all of our participating artists. Before you guys leave, we're gonna conclude with a few closing remarks from Lee Lowry from the HCC Foundation. Hey everybody, yeah, I'm Lee Lowry. I'm the Director of Development of the HCC Foundation. And our job is to raise money for scholarships and program support for our students to help them succeed and finish their degree or certificate. And we absolutely love what we do. Um, first, a huge congratulations to the winners and to all of the artists. We were so very impressed with the quality of the art this year. And I hope that you guys are just as proud of your work as we are. 
A reminder that the awards come in the form of scholarships to HCC art classes. Um, and if you are not a senior and you need to extend your award, just let us know and we'll extend the deadline. Um, next, our huge thanks to the HCC Gallery 221 staff, particularly Amanda Poss. She's a tremendous partner and has brought the arts at HCC to an amazing new level. We love working with her and her team. And of course, a even bigger thanks um, to Parker Scheneker and the Scheneker family for their generosity that made this whole event possible and for their generosity in pledging even more money <laughs> towards this in the coming years. Um, and just on a note, although Parker's story is inspiring every year, this year it's particularly touching. He took a dreadful situation and turned it into something beautiful that honored his wonderful kids and affected a tremendous amount of positive change for many others. I hope that in spite of how rough things are right now, students, you will remember Parker's example and make the best of your situation, whatever it may be. Seniors, you in particular are close to our hearts. Your world right now is not anything like you thought it would be. But we know you will make everyone's world better. Congratulations again, thank you all. And now back to Amanda. Okay, this officially concludes our first ever virtual award ceremony. Thank you so much for tuning in and helping us celebrate the 20th anniversary of the exhibition and for supporting the work of all these incredibly talented young artists, seeing family, friends, teachers, supporters, lovers of the arts in attendance tonight. And we're so thrilled to be able to continue to celebrate even at a distance. Um, so stay tuned for a special slideshow of the award winners, which will keep rolling as originally intended till about 7.15, so you can see them to your heart's content. Um, as a reminder, all artworks in the Calix Scheneker Art Infinitum Exhibition 2020 are available as a virtual exhibition on Flickr, posted on the gallery's website in our social media. You can follow us at gallery221hcc. Um, again, I can't say thank you enough. It was wonderful to see you all with us. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful night and can't wait to see you all in person once it's safe again to do so. Have a good night.